Number 43, Integrated Concepts. The motor in a toy car is powered by four batteries in series, which produce a total EMF of 6 volts. The motor draws 3 amps and develops a 4.5 back EMF at normal speed. Each battery has a 0.1 ohm internal resistance. What is the resistance of the motor? All right, so check out some of the prior problems, especially number 39, I think. Um, I go through the concept in detail. We're going to explain it here a little faster. All right. So... Um, Consider Ohm's law, that the voltage is going to be equal to the current multiplied by the resistance. Now, if I want to find the, um, let's say the total resistance. Now, I know I want to find the resistance in the motor, but let's just consider what we have. Uh, if I know the voltage supplied, uh, let's say basically to, to the motor, all right, um, and that then would correspond to the operating uh, current, and then that would then equal the total resistance. Now the total resistance of this we're going to assume stays constant, okay? So check out, I think maybe it was also 41 I did this in, but anyway, one of the prior like four problems. So um, what we now need to do is uh, we can actually solve this for the total resistance, right? So the total resistance here is going to be the voltage supplied divided by that operating current. And we had said that the voltage supplied is really just going to be the driving voltage minus then the back voltage, right? Or the back EMF. So in other words, they gave us the driving voltage. They said it's gonna produce a total EMF of six volts. And then the back voltage is gonna be 4.5. And then the operating current basically is three amps. So this is basically gonna be 1.5 over three or AKA 0.5 ohms, all right? So this now represents the total resistance. But wait a minute, you know, resistance here, it's saying what's the resistance of the motor? That's the total resistance. So what you got to remember is that the total resistance here is basically a function of the uh, resistance, the total resistance of the batteries, plus then the resistance of the motor. Now the batteries are connected, they said in series, and you know way back, you know, to the prior couple of chapters that uh, these internal resistances are then summed together right? Not, it's not the reciprocal of them that are summed. That would be if they were connected in parallel. So now basically what we realize is that we can take now the total resistance that we found over here, 0 0.5 ohms. And now we're going to basically use the total uh, uh, resistance here for the batteries. So each battery, it says has 0.1 ohm, but you got four of them. So you're going to multiply that by four. Add to then the, that would be the resistance then of the motor, right? And when we solve this now, we get the resistance of the motor is equal to 0.1 ohms. So it just so happened to turn out to be the same as the battery, but that's just coincidental. But that's all. All right. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Please help us out by subscribing and we will see you soon. Take care.